Hello everyone! In today's video we are going to talk about 5 things you can do at night for an easier morning. Everything we are going to discuss on this video will mainly revolve around the concept of decision fatigue. This term was coined by a social psychologist called Roy Baumheister and he says that decision fatigue is the decline in the quality of decisions that are made by a person after many decisions have been made in a row. If all of these decisions are made in the morning, when you're still foggy because of sleep and you haven't had your coffee yet, decision fatigue will be higher than during a more productive time during your day. This means that if you can reduce the number of decisions you make in the morning by doing them at night, you will save precious time in the morning and you'll have a more relaxed morning routine before you go to school, university or work. So my first tip for having an easier morning is cleaning up for 15 minutes at night. I've actually incorporated this habit into my nighttime routine, so after I do all of my skincare, I quickly go around the house and start putting back things where they belong. I try to clean the surfaces of my home, such as my vanity or my dining table, as well as cleaning the bathroom. I really feel motivated when I wake up in a tidy house and I feel like my morning gets way easier because everything is where it should be and I don't have to think about cleaning before I want to rush out of the house. The second thing I urge you to do during nighttime is setting goals and planning for the next day. Sometimes I think the world is divided between morning planners and nighttime planners, but I really believe that planning at night gives you a boost of motivation to wake up in the following day. By going to bed knowing exactly what you have to do the next day, you become well aware of the rhythm you should have in the following day, the time you'll have available to work or to relax, and you'll just wake up with the mindset you should have to tackle all of those tasks instead of having to enter that mindset after a planning session in the morning. My third tip is to meal prep your breakfast, snacks and lunch the night before. This does not necessarily mean you have to cook at night, but there are some things that you can definitely do before going to bed that will make cooking and prepping your food much easier. For instance, if you are used to drink a green smoothie in the morning, maybe you can cut all of your veggies and fruits the night before, put them in a Ziploc bag and then just pop it on the fridge so you can remove it in the morning. Even if you are not preparing your food the night before, maybe you can use this precious time to decide what type of food you are going to eat the following day, as well as what you need to prepare in the morning to take with you for lunch or for snacks. The fourth thing you can do is do one small task that you could do the following day. I think this is more like a psychological trigger than a real time saver, but I believe that if you set yourself for success in the following day, you'll have an easier morning and you'll feel much more motivated to start doing your work. For instance, if I'm going to film the following day, I usually film in the morning, so the night beforehand I'm going to set up my camera, so as soon as I've taken my breakfast, I know that I'm ready to go and I don't have to do all of those menial tasks that include taking all of my equipment out of my cupboards and then setting up my tripod, connecting the camera, charging the batteries and so on. You can also answer a couple of emails that are still resting in your inbox in case they're not important or even do something as simple as setting up the table for breakfast. Finally, my last tip is to move one of your morning habits into your night routine. If you have an already heavily packed morning, I think it's very troublesome to overburden yourself with habits, even if you're trying to achieve the perfect morning routine. For instance, beforehand, before I had all of this work, I used to spend some time in the morning reading a novel. I quickly found out that this was taking out precious time for me to do some things that I actually prefer to do in the morning, like exercising, and writing my thesis, so I started reading only at night. It was something that was not impacted by low levels of energy at night, and at least I woke up in the following morning knowing that I had already read all the pages I wanted to read of that particular book, and that I was now able to spend that precious time that I was able to save doing other things that I felt were more important for me in that particular morning. I also want to thank Skillshare for partnering with me today and being incredible at supporting more than 7 million people in their learning journey. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in dozens of different categories and they can help you build new skills, develop new strategies and learn more about anything you feel curious about. 
Skillshare's portfolio includes productivity and business masterclasses, tutorials on how to work with different types of software, language classes, art and design courses, and so on. Here you are seeing a class on how to have an easier morning routine, which will be pretty useful in case you are trying to improve on this aspect of your life. Also, Premium Membership gives you unlimited access to all these incredible classes, so no individual payments required, and since Skillshare costs less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription, it's the perfect companion for the learning enthusiasts. Also, if you're one of the first 500 people to click the link, in the description box you'll get your first two months of unlimited classes for free. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week with more productivity, organization and studying related tips. Bye!